Hi, it's Elaine Hamilton Grundy from the Reiki Center. And in this short video, we're going to talk about Reiki on, Reiki off. Is it necessary to command the Reiki to switch on and switch off? Now, in my lineage, we talk about Reiki being automatic. That means that when you place your hands on anywhere, whether it's your own body or the body of another living organism, um, then the Reiki will flow via osmosis, like an osmotic act action from the area of high concentration to low concentration. And because Reiki is universal life force, it doesn't require your mental energy in order to turn it on or off. Um, there is a story that the reason why Reiki on, Reiki off came into being is really because of language. So Hawaii Takata was um, Japanese and so her English wasn't native. Um, even though she was born and bred in Hawaii, um, it's very likely that her English was not the same fluency as a native English speaker. So the story goes, and it's just a story, that when she was teaching, she would say, uh, she would demonstrate by placing her hands on one of her students and she would say, hands on, Reiki on. Hands off, Reiki off. Now, if you are quite used to Asian Englishing, then you would have actually translated that as when your hands go on the body, the Reiki comes on. And when your hands go off the body, Reiki stops. So that would have been a natural conclusion. And most Reiki teachers that were with her had that conclusion as well, uh, which is why in general, people will say Reiki is automatic. There's no need to turn it on or turn it off. However, there's a very high chance that there was there were people in her uh, vicinity that would have taken it literally. So the idea that, okay, hands on, Reiki on, and actually say Reiki on, and then hands off, Reiki off, actually say Reiki off. So it's a it's very easy to see how this um, kind of myth came into the Reiki teaching. And if you are pondering this yourself, if, if you were taught Reiki on, Reiki off as a way of controlling the Reiki, it's a very easy experiment just to check it out for yourself. So place your hands on your body or place your hands on a friend or loved one. And when you feel the Reiki, then you can actually see if you can turn it off. Just say Reiki off, keep your hands on and see what happens. So you'll figure out pretty quickly that you are not in control of this Reiki process. You are merely a hose and you are like a conduit. And once you've been attuned to Reiki, then the Reiki flows through you. And that flow is not controlled by your mind. Um, because your the, the flow of Reiki as universal life force is far greater than you and your little ego and your mind. <laughs> and I know I'm laughing because we honestly think that we are in control of our life and we're in control of this world. And when we, things don't go well, if we like get anxious enough about it and worry enough about it, then something will change. And of course, life experience shows you that this is actually not true, that life is in control of life. And equally, Reiki is control of Reiki, in control of Reiki. So the, the good news is that you don't have to be involved, which also means that when you are putting your hands on your body and you're watching TV, or you're putting your hands on your body and you're falling asleep, then the Reiki is still active in your system. So it's not a mental process and it's not actually a conscious process. So you, you don't, your mind and your thinking and your thoughts don't have to be involved. Now, clearly, it's nice to be in a meditative space and to have peace and quiet and all that kind of thing. But honestly, I would say that if you're struggling with your Reiki practice, remembering that Reiki is automatic is a great bonus 
because it means that when you're commuting to work, when you're watching TV, when you're going to bed and falling asleep, as long as your hands are on your body, you are receiving a Reiki flow. So over time, the Reiki is going to be refueling your system. And this is a very powerful kind of mindset to have that actually, as long as my hands are on my body, no matter what I'm doing, I'm helping to kind of rejuvenate myself. And this over time will have impact. So do experiment with this and see whether or not it rings true for you, whether it's your own experience when you place your hands on yourself or somebody else, just seeing what happens without your mental processing or disturbance. And in that way, you really start to open yourself to your Reiki practice and um, open yourself to the Reiki flow and, and what's actually happening. So I hope this is helpful and uh, hopefully it inspires you to do a more uh, kind of automatic practice with your Reiki. Bring it in more. It's just part of your lifestyle. And um, yeah, wishing you well on your journey.